why is this why is this redded right now? I'm trying to figure out what is it what is it warning me about? I wonder if it's because my builders are idle. Like I've got people that are doing things that they don't need to do. Because I've certainly got things assigned to everyone, but it's red as if like making me worry that there's something bad happening. I kind of want to set up one farm field as well. Maybe, a, okay, before I set up some houses, let's set up something to collect the scrap from here because we are going to need quite a bit more material. So I'll set up the scrap yard here for now. It's going to be nicely centered for all this stuff. And then at some point we can move the work area. And we'll also want a forester's lodge. Maybe what I'll do is I'll build the forester's lodge over here, you know, on the edge of the forest. There you go. And the foresters uh, can also replant trees so they can keep the area going and that might be maintain a good farming area. Place down a road and see if it goes away to see if your builders are idle. Oh, maybe. Well, I put down a couple of construction and that's, so that's not it. There was this, certainly there must be some hint that I need to be doing something, but, or maybe it's just because the numbers are, are kind of low for certain things, that's possible. Water supply is going up, which is good. Um, I'm worried overall about food. Barely see the road. Maybe these are just dirt roads. We uh, we have to get tech to be able to build uh, fancier paved roads. We have to unlock it through research. Oh, well, now you're right. The scrap collector and the forester are red. Um, but it, I thought it was red even before I plopped those down. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to trim back. Okay, we don't need these yet because they're not built. I'm going to keep the number of builders higher until they get built, and then what I'll do is I'll bring down the builder count a little bit, and then assign them over here. Ooh. Yeah, maybe when the builders go idle again, it might turn red. So right now it's it's white. Let's see what happens when the construction finishes on the scrapyard, which first needs to be cleared, then we need some wood, some scrap, and then construction progress. That might be it. Now we're going to start complaining about homelessness. Yep, we'll have to get some houses down soon. And there's contaminated stuff being stored in here. Probably contaminated fish that we've uh, we've grabbed from here. I suspect is probably the problem. But what are you going to do? Okay. Yeah, at first glance, from like the screenshots, I thought, oh, this looks a lot like surviving the aftermath. But playing it, it feels completely different. The best comparison for playing it is probably something like Frostpunk, Banished, that sort of thing. Like, I'll pre-place some roads here, but obviously we're going to have to finish some of these off. But it still means where people can walk a little bit faster in some areas. All right, let's get some housing down. So I do want to get some cabins, because I do want my people to uh, get what the baby making. Um, there is uh, attractiveness numbers. These are reduced by being close to production buildings. So I don't know where to place them to keep people happy right now. We can build decorations, so maybe we can use that to make the houses prettier later on. I'm going to suggest that right now, housing beauty is not our main concern, just basic survival. So we're going to put down... Um, I don't know, maybe these, maybe six for now. So that's going to house 12 adults and uh, 18 children, depending on, you know, who they belong to. But that'll at least give us a bit of a start. Oh, I'm still in attractiveness mode. I'm like, why can't I see my, uh, my road building? But that was fine. I think I'll plop down a couple more houses in there in a bit. Yeah, homelessness is there. So you get the notification at the bottom, you get it there, you get some other notification. You get, I think, resource-based notifications at the top, and then other alerts down below. And then, yeah, we've got this. We can leave the notifications open, which I find very handy. I also find keeping the, uh, the list of people open very handy, especially when the UI wasn't scaled so big, there was more room. Uh, these guys have no scrap sitting around. What I think I'm gonna do, because we're building the scrap station, I'm just gonna go ahead and demolish the scrap task. Same thing over here. Well, this wood one is still working okay. But no, I think we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that because we're gonna be getting wood. We've got our Forester's Lodge and it is, I'm gonna send it in this area. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna cut down and also reforest the tree. And then with the scrap yard, I mean, working this area is fine. Maybe we can just move it around a little bit this way. But there we go. 
So we've only got one person assigned to each, but hopefully that's okay. The houses are coming up. No more um, no more homelessness, which is good. Hopefully they get to the baby making. Oh wow, they've already collected the scraps from over here. What? They are fast. Oh, no, there's more homelessness. I'm gonna get two more cabins. you. Do that. Let me move the road. Instead, we'll end up roading that way. Like that. And then I'll connect that one there. Okay. I like that. Uh, this is still the same, because I think we had, we had ten adults, five children, so three of the children have aged up now. We are now in season four. Like, Time, time has gone on, you know? Uh, there should still be some Saturday. I've got more things I want to play. The, the, the bad thing is it might be slowing down our, our YouTube, like RimWorld and stuff like that. I did record a RimWorld today, which should be up a little later today or early tomorrow. So there might be a, a few delays. Okay. Houses are up. Baby making will hopefully happen, especially if you can get the contentness up a little bit, which would be nice. Um, so this is the overall, yeah, overall sort of happiness. I mean, here's health of our, our, our settlers, uh, but their overall happiness is over here. Right now, they're okay, even tempered. If we can get them all the way to contentedness, uh, it gives us better bonuses, right? We, uh, more reproduction, so babies happen faster. Newborns live slightly longer. I don't like the implication of that, right? Um, so the happier they are, the more boost we can get. Water is coming in, maybe maybe not as fast as it could though. Um, food is coming in, likewise, maybe not as fast as it could. Um, how is the moisture level? Right now it's very moist. I'm thinking we might want to put down and farm. How's the hunting going? It is happening. Hunting, capturing? We can capture livestock? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's very interesting. <clears throat> now, other than we need to get more babies, really right now we're, we're maybe a little bit limited until we get more babies. Well, we have four settlers. We could probably afford to employ another couple. Um, what we definitely want to do fairly early on is we do need to make sure to get radiation production or protection going on. I don't know, maybe build a well is a good idea. Because I, I think I feel like we can assign maybe two more people to work in things, so we've got to sort of pick and choose a little bit. I feel like a well would be a smart thing to do, so we'll put the well down over here to roughly face in the direction of the cistern, just to minimize some of the walking, something like that, and then that is going to require a well keeper. Because the well, even during droughts, the well, well will continue to produce water. Also, the water that the well produces isn't contaminated. Oh, it's raining! Yeah. Hmm. Although I think the rain can often be contaminated. No rain, rain with unknown contamination. We can build a weather station for more info. I like the countdown to the autosave. I think that's quite good. And yeah, we will definitely get a drought in Season 8. Ah, this is full. Our cistern is already full. We could go and, um... Oh, there's a quick shortcut for building rain collectors. That's handy. Um, we could upgrade it to a water tower. To do that, though, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need plastic. We're also going to need coal. Coal is actually used as a way to decontaminate the water. Use coal, coal filtration. Hey! Are you surprised about my surprise about renaming people? Also, can we make the town look like Megaton from Fallout 3? I don't know if I've got that kind of skill, uh, unfortunately. That was the rest of your... Fish and deer sound like my kind of town. Those sound delicious. Um, yeah, we probably remove a water carrier for now. I feel like we probably will need three to maintain it, but we can definitely uh, cut this down by one. I think what we should do is we should put down a couple of recyclers at least. Maybe three recyclers. So recyclers take um, scrap and uh, break it down to metal, cloth, plastics, or later on electronic. So I think we're going to We really need this scrap pile to go away. Kind of inconveniently positioned. So we'll do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put down three of them. I know they got negative beauty, so it's gonna make these houses cranky. But what are we gonna do? In oncoming drought. I know. 
Does anyone else feel like the word drought is spelled really badly? Like, who came up with this? Why is drought spelled that way? Why is it drosht? Drooft? Drogata. Drugged. Yeah, exactly. First recycler is in the line of the road. Oh, this one here. I believe you are correct. Thank you. That's going to be three more, but it's probably okay. Because we can even, like, we could even take the builders away if we don't need them for a while, right? In fact, right now, since we've got some extra adults, I'm going to go ahead and slam some extra builders in here to accelerate that, and then we can pull them away afterwards. Would you prefer drought? That's the thing. Compare the spelling of the word drought with the spelling of the word draft, which differs, I believe, simply by replacing the O with an A. But one has an uh, ought, and the other one has an F randomly in there. One treats the GH as an F. I don't know. English is dumb and weird. Well, you do have a variety of food, which is nice to see. Because there's, you know, a couple of different huntables plus the fish, which is something. Hey, Warwolf! Uh, came to the stream late. I was confused. I thought you were playing and you survived in the aftermath. Yeah, no, I I really like this one. Again, it's basically like like banished, but everything has gone horribly, horribly wrong. So basically one of my pl game through, uh, playthroughs. And yes, you can spell fish G-H-O-T-I is a way to spell fish, theoretically. <clears throat> Okay, refiners, yes, we'll be assigning some refiner jobs soon. We need the recyclers to be done first. Alright, one. Okay, let's go throw them in back on this, do this, do that. So we'll keep two builders around. A couple of them, they're just going to keep uh, maintaining things for now. We'll have the three refiners ready to go once these are up. I guess it doesn't make sense to do it now. There you go. Pull back, do this. Now, these things, they take scraps and they make them into either cloth, metal, or plastic. And we want to assign that. What's great is you can assign it here, so this one is now going to make metal. You can also cycle through the icons over here. So if you click on one of these recyclers... It shows you, it gives you these icons on all of them, and you can very easily just make an adjustment to each of them. Again, the UI in this thing, brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, if they wanted to make a game that was specifically tailored to me, this is how they did it. They have nuclear power plant on this map? Uh, I don't know if that's a thing, first of all. There's, like, a bit of a destroyed town over here. I think I saw, like, a, a larger house over here somewhere, too. There was something. Oh, there we go. Interesting location. There you go. This is this is a place we can uh, we can scout. Send a scout from an expedition st station to explore this site. I don't know if this is a nuclear reactor or... Well, maybe. I don't know what was there. A chemical plant? Oh, no, here. Look, the silos. Yeah, the cooling towers. Collapsed nuclear power plant tower. Yeah, so... Home sweet home. Right next to an abandoned nuclear power plant. Oh, helicopter over here. Check it out! Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's really close by. Oh, there's an interesting location for us to scout later on. So there's going to be plenty for us to do. All right, worker-wise, a couple of settlers for miscellaneous moving things around. A couple of builders feeling okay. Resources are starting to get... We'll start to build up. Um, the next thing in our list is probably going to be to get a tailor to make radiation protection and a... I think it's called a workshop? To make tools. Workshop to make tools. Now, I'm not going to rush it because we've got a few to spare right now. And we don't have that many extra people kitting around. <laughs> Rebuild the plant and ruin the world again. <laughs> Vote to rename the town Pripyat. <laughs> not great, not terrible. Alright, let's speed the game up. <gasps> we have a new baby! Justin has just been born! Hey, hey! Oh, and Carolina as well! Yes! My people are getting busy. Um, we... 
could build more houses after this. I think one of the things we'll probably start doing is we'll probably put down a shelter, which can fit a lot of people in. The people in the shelter won't make moo babies, but we have some houses to maybe keep a slow trickle of new population in. Don't want to go too quickly, because I'm kind of worried that we'll, we'll not have enough resources. But we'll see. We've gotten busy. Yes, you're right. You know what? We do have to get the Brussels sprouts growing. So let's go ahead and plant. Let's plant a, uh, some crops right now. So we're going to do a cultivated field. It provides food from farming crops, although a field can be created without construction costs. It needs time to grow the crops. Uh, it hires farmers. You can make the fields as large as 16 by 16. Um, I did a quick little look around. It feels like um, if it's around 10 by 10 or maybe 16 by 8, which are, are a couple of... Uh, of popular layouts as far as I can tell. It sounds like two farmers will farm them all, but one will do will do a fair amount of farming. So we could do one of these. Let's do a 16 by eight, just to see. And again, I love the, the, the graph overlay to make it easier to line things up and things. So we'll put it over here, just a nice convenient size. Um, and maybe we'll assign one farmer to this workforce. We have to choose which seed we're growing. Now, there's a variety of different seeds. We Most of them are locked. At the start of the game, we only have access to lupine, lupini beans, and cabbages. But you know what? What is a cabbage but a very large Brussels sprout? And I mean, look at that icon. To me, that looks way more like a Brussels sprout than a cabbage. So I'm saying, canonically, we are growing Brussels sprouts. Come on! Or yes, it does allow us to do the uh, the cabbage uh, cabbage seller, cabbage vendor, cabbage merchant memes? What, what is the name of the character from uh, from Avatar? My cabbages! But I like to think of them as Brussels sprouts. Large irradiated sprouts, that's what they are. It's like, uh, it's like Minsk and this, you know, miniature giant space hammer. This hamster, this is just a, a giant irradiated Brussels sprout. Yeah, a cabbage is just a large Brussels sprout. Changed my mind. I mean, they're all brassicas, right? It's all the same. Now, with the drought, what's going to happen here? No moisture. Got dry ground. So we're not really going to be growing this. But it is going to rain in the ninth season. Um, oh yeah, the drought's not here yet. It's actually six, but it's still not, not terribly moist here. Um, so hopefully we get a little bit of, of crops out of here. It'll give us more food variety, which is nice. We can, however, build irrigation plants. So we can build these, and you can see the area that they will uh, cover and that will help keep our crops nicely um, irrigated. We actually might want to do that now. I'm a little worried that we'd spend too much water. And it is another job. We need someone to work the irrigation plant. The population is rising though, which is nice. But it might not be a bad idea to plan for that now. Maybe we do. Maybe we put down the irrigation plant now. This is not necessarily the best spot for all of this though, because um, we're not gonna be able to take advantage of all the terrain. I know, we can just move things later or something like that. Let me do this. Because I was looking up a few, like, layouts for farms and things like that. And I think we could hit kind of a sweet spot doing something vaguely like this. Um, and then we can drag one road up to here. Like this. There we go. You complaining because we don't have plastics? Yeah. Well, actually, and hold on, maybe with our plastic, maybe we'd be better off upgrading the cistern to a water tower instead. We should be getting a trickle of plastic because one of these recyclers is working on it. Yeah, right over here. So we are getting some plastic in. I don't know what's more important, the water tower or the irrigation. Any military mechanics in this game? Well, I mean... Ammunition factories, watchtowers, barricades. There's clearly something with weaponry. I haven't gotten far enough to see that. Yeah, we'll, we'll let this in. Here comes the rain. It's whiskey and chocolate. Ah, uh, Rastislav, thank you very much. Seems like the dev had watched your videos. Make note about complaints to the UI and UX. That's it. They made this game specifically to cater to me, and me only. It's a really good UI. I like the rain coming. I love the dynamic, um, like, water. It's really, really great. Uh, the radiation, the same thing happened. Look at this! The radiation is gone from over here. It's actually being washed away. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
mutants and ghouls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what bad stuff is. Could be other raiders, could be mutants and ghouls. I, I simply don't know at this point. How are we doing worker-wise? Uh, we don't have an irrigator assigned, but that's fine because we don't actually, you know, it's not built yet. But I guess I... I mean, it's going to be... Oh, no, it's not going to be built for a while because we don't have any plastic. So, you know what? Let me just cancel this. Oh, shit! Excuse me. Shit, I didn't realize that plastic was coming in pretty well here. We need 30 to finish. I guess I can still wait to place it until it's actually down, but... Until we've actually got the 30 plastic. But it's not going to take that long, apparently. There are trading posts. I don't know how trading works yet. Um... Well, there's a market. Trading posts. See that? Traders survive a trading post at regular intervals to barter different goods they have to offer. I don't know. It's clearly a thing. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prioritize upgrading the water tower. Or the cistern to a water tower here. Oh, we need coal. Yeah, let's let's get that. Uh, we're going to get a charcoal kiln. Um, let me put it next to the, uh, the lumber guy over here. We're going to start getting some charcoal, which we are going to need for... Oh, shit. We need to get a radiation protection up, too. That's way more important than so many things. Okay. Get the charcoal kiln up. That's going to be key. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going to need some workforce. We're going to have to do a few adjustments over here. Um, we need a tailor. How's for tools? Tools are going down. They're not dire yet, but they're not great. Got a tailor here. How's our workforce looking? Okay. When's our next kid uh, maturing? Not for a while yet. And trim down one builder, maybe. And assign a tailor. Um, just start working on neck scarves first. Neck scarves protect against low-level radiation. They only need cloth. The activated uh, carbon masks, they protect against medium, which is very good, but they need uh, they need uh, the charcoal as well. But So we're not going to use the charcoal for the carbon masks yet, but we need the charcoal for the cistern because it's going to, I think, auto-purify things. Not that it's a problem right now, but I think we also we need some just to build it into a water tower in the first place, uh, which does have a higher water capacity, I believe. So we'll go ahead and order the upgrade. It'll start delivering some goods. We do have settlers with no protective equipment. Just like that. Well, we have new, new kids, right? So the kids are born, they need the equipment. The equipment also gets worn over time. There's multiples. There's unhappy people as well. Oh no! Everything is bad! It's starting, you guys! The snowball to badness has begun. It's like a big water filter. Exactly! Exactly! Uh, settlers equals free workers. Uh, settlers do do a few different things, right? They do simple tasks and they help transport resources. So I feel like some might always make sense. I don't know. And I know there's a drought and no protective equipment. I'm working on it. The plus side of letting things go bad like this is you will get these little mini quests. So Clara here sent, is reminding us that uh, many of our settlers are forced to move across this wasteland unprotected. We should boost our production of protective clothing. Let's do it. So we now have a task. Build the tailor shop. Hey, done. Build two activated carbon masks. If we do that, we'll actually be rewarded with six more. So I'm going to switch the tailor to making the carbon masks right now. Um, and then when we complete two, we're going to get six for free, which is great. And then what we'll do is probably switch it back to just the next scarves. Because that's really all we need right now because the pollution's not so bad. Builders come out in your favorite games. Yeah. No, builders are so compelling. So compelling. And what's interesting to me, other than, say, SimCity, I have a hard time thinking of games in my youth that were builders, right? So I would always think of myself as, like, a strategy gamer above everything else because you had things like like your Civs, your Age of Wonders, your Master of Magic, Master of Orion, all those things. But in terms of, like, a city builder, other than cities, or other than um, SimCity, was there a lot? I don't know. But then, like, in the last, you know, so, you know, more recent times, at least recent from my point of view. Yes, and then finally, like, Rome and Pharaoh, especially, right? I got super addicted to Pharaoh, especially. I really like that one. But th there weren't as many. And now we live in an era where there's so many city builders and base builders and, and things like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, this this is this might be more my jam than some of the others. I don't know. I still like strategy games. 
That's that's hard to say. Uh, you are still a cistern. But you are theoretically. Oh yeah, there's the upgrade task over here. Wood scraps. We're good on those. Yeah, we don't have a ton of wood. We're gonna need more woodcutters here. We need more of these babies to come of age. But they're getting there. They're nearly there. Would have been nice to get a school down. Um, it is going to be a priority. Educated people work better. They also are much better at not um, burning through their equipment. So their protective protective gear will last longer. Their tools as well. I think when the uh, the kids become adults, they'll be grabbing these 